I'm sorry about the sun. I don't want to get up and fix that. So. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a panda palette update. This is a collab with the Pantastic Ladies on Facebook. This panda palette theme is created by Erin. The panda palette project overall is created by Amber F and if you don't know those ladies they will be linked down below as always actually in uh, my panda palette videos. This is Panning Solitaire and we were supposed to pick a single dual trio chord etc and work on those so they can kind of be like solitaire like in pairs. You have to do them in order or finish them in order so you can't count your duo done before your single and so on. So for my shadows I try to be I wouldn't say realistic but strategic. <laughs> I have a queen shadow for my single and so on so the easy shades from the beginning and then the harder shades afterwards. So yeah let me show you a picture of where I was last time compared to now. This is where I am now. Can you see some changes? I can. This month I have new Franken shadows, I have some new pans, expanded pans, and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's just talk about it. Last time I had a Franken shadow that I did from my taupe shadow here in the corner and a highlight from a highlighter palette. I don't have it with me right now. It is from uh, Mega Revolution. I mixed those two and created a beautiful light golden color. And that Frank shadow I finished, obviously, <laughs> this month. Um, so in a month I finished that Frank shadow and I'm pretty excited about that because that meant I can do some more. I can do a new one. Um, and I got out of hand and I did two new ones. So that is done and not existing anymore but I'm sure I have some light golds in my collection. So for my single, last time I had, yeah I did repress it last time and you saw that pan was almost completely full. What I didn't have in mind was that when you repress stuff they often go more powdery and go faster because there's less product. I felt like I had a brand new shadow <laughs> but that is not the case. This is definitely more powdery because I have hit massive pan by this update. There's still a lot on the sides but I am working on it and there's a chance for me to finish this next month if I am being better about my makeup applying or just wearing makeup. Nonetheless it will be almost done by next update which is really exciting because then I have my single done and then I can really work on my duo and get that done. Even though I am oh, I'm already working on it really hard. I cannot use this to set my eyeshadow primer because I thought maybe it would go faster that way. No, your shadows will be terrible. They are going to fade within an hour. And I'm not kidding, my crease shade was gone. The only shade that was left on my eyelids was the one that I set with a cream shadow. So I put a cream shadow underneath and then a shadow on top. That stayed, but the crease shade that was long gone, plus the outer corner shade. I looked terrible. At least I wasn't going anywhere, but I was not enjoying that. So I'm not going to set my eyelid primer with this one at all. <laughs> it's only a brow bone shade. So my duo is these two shadows right here. They are from Benefit as well. These three shadows came from a holiday palette thing uh, in like 2015. So they are getting old, they are not my favorite shadows, so that is why I'm going to franken them, but they are pretty nice on their own, so I don't mind having them, but I really want to make this project fun, and that is me frankening shadows, um, and get some new shades from the existing shades. Last time I only had a little bit of pan in the rose gold shade, and now I have massive side pan. This shade below it, the pink one, I have that chunk in it with some pink from my Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. I don't remember what the shadow is called but I will insert a picture or a name or something so you can see what shadow it is. And that one is the shadow that I have in my inner third here. And I really really like it actually. It is more pink painted uh, than I thought it would be. Which is nice. I don't have any cream shadows or anything underneath these two today. Only a sticky primer. My top color. 
let's talk about that. I have some master pan right now because I franked it in this purple color. I have three different shadows in this. I have obviously some taupe. I have some candied violet from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette that is purple, but it is also kind of gray if you don't mix it with something or it has have another base or something. So I thought I really want to use some of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar up. So let's just do a purple because I'm really into purple right now. Obviously, but yeah, I really really like that combo when it is mixed with something else So I thought why not and then I have some of the same pink from That I mixed into this fang shadow in this one and um, so it is more purple and not so dead purple As Jessica and Amanda would say <laughs> Yes, you would I have two new fang shadows and that is pretty exciting I don't think I can use those up by next update, but I will have some great use and I'm excited to have those two shadows to wear. Oh yeah, I I just put my cord back in my collection. I'm not going to show that because I haven't used it at all. So that is not going to be a part of this project anymore. Spoiler. <laughs> my trio down here is three Catrice single shadows that I deep parted a while ago. I don't think I have used it this that much. I have it in my crease today but you can't see it because of the purple. The shadow you can see the most progress on is the middle one because i use it in my brows so yes you can see there's a small dip forming in this shadow and i'm pretty excited about it so maybe i can hit pan by next update maybe that is ambitious but i really want to hit pan on this soon i don't think i am far behind on that i am nonetheless having a dip in that shadow which is really exciting because they are so tightly packed in this palette that is not really, it's not funny i don't know how many times i've used this grayish brown shadow but something in the middle is wearing off the writing at least so that is getting used as well so i'm pretty excited about my progress this month and where i'm going with this palette and i'm excited that i don't feel like quitting anymore because i am doing some things and i actually use the shadows anyway so let's see how long that is going to hold up but at least i'm not quitting because i really want to finish off these shades and i actually i really enjoy them i just don't want to get bored and this is my way of not getting bored you guys were so helpful last time with so many suggestions on uh, suggestions of what i should do i decided on having one or two focus shades from this palette each month and frankening <laughs> is the way forward so my focus shades is definitely the cream and the brow the shadow that i use in my brows sometimes in the outer corner as well and then one of these two uh, shadows felix wants to get in so i'm going to stop um in a minute but yes those are my two focus shades these two and then i want to play with those and maybe hit pan on them by next update that might be a goal as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until my next one please take care and stay safe from all the things in the world right now they are they are crazy oh i, I forgot i have the purple in my outer corner right here so i used both of them for this video and i forgot to mention <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it and please check out the other ladies that are in this collab down below. I have a master list of course and my other updates are linked down below and in the end slate as always. And yeah, until my next one, please take care. Bye!